you. Welcome to No Makeup Monday with me, Brianna. Um, it's actually Friday, so this should be up by Monday. <laughs> um, I am doing an e.l.f. haul because I bought a lot of things from e.l.f. And I'm super excited about it. Um, e.l.f. Eyes Lips Face is a really great um, makeup brand company. Um, they're cruelty uh, free. All of their products, I, you know, I've never had an allergic reaction with them. Um, just, I never really can find good stuff, but e.l.f. is inexpensive. You know, everybody uses the word cheap when they talk about e.l.f. Honestly, I don't feel like that is the best way to describe it. I would, I would say inexpensive, and I would say that it does not break your budget. That's nice. So, I do have a big bag, and I've already taken everything out of the boxes because... I've already started using some of this. Just, I'm just going to start pulling stuff out and we'll just uh, go from there. Yeah? yeah? Okay. First thing is this eyeshadow palette. And this is the New York eyeshadow palette. And this is one of the reasons why I placed my first order with e.l.f. Um, the colors in here are so great. Um, they're neutral colors, but then you also have really like a fun blue and a fun pink, and they're very, very pigmented. Um, that's the blue. I really like it. It swatches really great. I think it's awesome. Super duper excited about this palette. Um, you can do so much with it. Um, all right. Uh, blush. This is the e.l.f. Um, just their blush in Peachy Keen because I actually don't have a like pink or a, a peachy natural blush. So I went with this one. Let's see if I can try to get that color as true as it's about that color in real life. It's really pretty and again I really like it. It's it's a natural look especially I have very very fair fair skin day <laughs> and um this is really great for the summer just to kind of like put in and it just make me look like I have a little bit of color without it over burying me um okay the NYC palette and this product was the reason I ordered the were both the reasons I ordered the first order two weeks ago and this is the elf lip exfoliator and I really, really love this. Um, sorry, I had to make sure. Okay. So I have actually used this a lot. And um, I'm sure you've seen it. It is, obviously I've used it. It's got that sugar scrub. But it does have that moisture on the outside. Um, I really like it. A lot of people, this is either a hit or miss product. Um, but for me, it's honestly probably going to be my holy grail product. Um, yeah, it's rough on your lips, but an exfoliator is supposed to be a little bit rougher. Um, I find it's very moisturizing. I don't really have an issue. I find that, you know, I rub it along the top, bottom, and then do it again. And the sugar scrub leaves my lips very, very moisturizing. Um, okay. I feel like it's Christmas. Um, this product is the e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer. The only thing I don't like about this product is, um, my, the top that came on mine, like, comes off really easily. So when I put it in my makeup drawer, it just, like, is usually just laying in there like this, which is kind of frustrating. Um, but I do like this. This is, um, the first primer that I've ever used, um... I think that it's really great. It just goes on really clear. Um, very, very smooth. It's not sticky. And as soon as you glide it on, and it doesn't, I mean, it's got a little bit of a smell, but it just kind of smells like clean, you know? And it's not greasy. It's not, you know, leaving your face feeling like you need to, like, pat it down with, you know, shine eraser my bobs. Um, speaking of shine erasers, I got this because this, um, I think this was a dollar. Um, love, love, love these products. I'm pretty sure every makeup brand has, um, 
this sort of product. Um, there are 50 of these in here. And this is great because I do get oily right in like my T-zone area and that's it. It's just in like this area. <laughs> and so I love to have these just on me throughout the day. And again, 50 sheets for a buck. You can't, I mean, that's awesome. I will probably, or I should have ordered more, but um, let's see. Okay, this is the e.l.f. Mineral Booster in Sheer and I'm, I took the sticky thing off, so I'm sure there's just makeup, yeah, everywhere. Um, let's see if we can do this without spilling. And it is just the sheer, just very, very light mineral powder. Um, I wanted something, especially, I live in Florida, and if you've ever lived in Florida, or regardless, if you've ever lived in the South, it gets blistering hot in the summer. Um, humidity, it's horrible. Um... I bought this. It's so tiny. Um, this is the e.l.f. all over stick and this is in ivory because I'm pale. Um, and it's just an all over kind of concealer. I Honestly, I got this just to go underneath my eyes as an under eye concealer. This, again, I think this is in the mineral line so I want to say this was like a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty. Um, really not that bad. Um, okay. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Lip Gloss, and I think this is in Bare, yeah, in Bare. Um, really pretty. It's a very nude. I love, love the nude lip. Um, it's got the Dove applicator. Um, um, can you see? A little bit. Um... It's really pretty, really neutral. I love those like brown neutral colors. The only issue with this is it is really sticky. And not necessarily just like sticky, just like tacky, you know, would probably be a better word. And it's really sad because I really wanted this to go over one of my nude lipsticks. I will probably still use this. I will just have to like limit my use. Okay, this one um, is waterproof the elf waterproof eyeliner crayon in champagne um the issue i have with this one very very pretty color but when it came oh maybe i fixed it i'm not gonna mess with it when i came this this part was like falling out of the thing so um but I am, let's see if I can get that. I have horrible lighting. A little bit. It's a really, really light. It's kind of like a bronzier champagne. Um, but I do like it. Um, I, I honestly, I just basically want to use this in my waterline. Um, just to kind of have that natural eye-opening look. Without a brown eyeliner, I'm not a fan. The next thing I got was um, this e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer. And this I got this in ivory. They had a porcelain, but a lot of people were like, porcelain came out and it was too yellow or too orange. And I was like, well, crap. I'm going to go with ivory because I'd actually even, like the colors on the website, the ivory almost looked lighter than the porcelain. And so I went ahead and went with ivory. And... Um, it's not very big. It's not even an ounce of product. Um, and I think this was like, I want to say it was three. It might have been six dollars. Um, it is a tinted moisturizer and I've been needing one. I've been wanting to try one. Again, I live in Florida. It's hot. I don't want to have to put a crap ton of makeup on. I want something I that feels very light on my face and I can kind of just wear it and go. It's got an SPF of 20, which I think is great. That's the color. It's not, once it's blended in, you really, I think, it, I think it'll match pretty well. Um, honestly, I'm not going to need a lot for my face. I, again, it's just something I want to be able to wear and probably wear the powder over just for a light face. Um, but it doesn't look too yellow. It doesn't look too orange. So, Honestly, if you have light skin, instead of doing porcelain, I would go for the ivory, but that's just me. 
Okay. These three products I got. This was the reason I got. I placed a second order last week because they were having a sale on these three items or this item came as a package and it was a limited time offer and the price was cut in half I think um, but I wasn't sure if they like I hadn't normally seen this package together so I was like well I'm gonna get it before they don't have it because all three of these colors are a very natural look and I would love that they are the jumbo eyeshadow stick and this one is in Turkish coffee, and it's this, like, brown, cob, bronzy color. I like that a lot. Um, the next one is uh, Rock Out, and it's, like, this uh, more of, like, a silvery color. A little bit of a champagne. Whoop. It's pretty and then this one is um, Little Miss Thing and it is like a definitely like a champagne neutral and that one is there I am super duper excited about all three of these okay I kept this box because the items that came in there are awesome but unfortunately the items themselves don't have the names of the colors on them and this also is in my most recent order and these are the the five piece shimmer eyeliner pencils twinkle uh, teal um, it's a very pretty teal color let's say let's put it here and I I swatched these last night actually when I got them and I am absolutely in love with these pencils. They go on so smooth. Um, just, I absolutely love it. This one is called Gunmetal. Um, and this is like a silvery color. Just so smooth. Just creamy and... Mm, I love it. Um, this one is uh, boldly bronzed, boldly bronzed, super cute, great for a natural look. Um, I think it'd go gr great with those jumbo, jumbo eye shadow crayons. Um, this one is Plum Passion, and this one is actually really pretty too. Um, it's a little bit darker um it is purple shows up really well on camera on my skin it looks almost like a little bit more brown um but it's still really pretty um and this last one is black bandit which is just kind of you know black with a little bit of a shimmer but it is also really great i have never had a um like a pencil that like a like a sharpener pencil that has gone on that smoothly. This is awesome. Go out and get this. I think this set was $5, 5 or $6, this entire set, um, which is great because it breaks down to like a dollar a pencil, which you can totally validate buying. So go do that. Uh, this is another blush that I brought. This is with my first order, and this is the Mineral Blush, and this is in Joy. And it is a light pink blush. Um, I wanted something that was just more natural. Um, very, very light. I don't even know if you can tell how light it is. Um, very, very light pink. Um, just super. And once you like massage it in and kind of like smudge it in, it is just such a cute pink. I think it's going to look great. Um, especially I have fair skin. <laughs> And I wanted a pink that wasn't going to look like I, like, dipped my face in hot pink highlighter. Let's see. This one is a lipstick. This one is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick. And this is in Cheeky. And um, I got this because online it looked a little bit neutral. But in real life it is definitely more of a cherrier pink color. Um... 
it definitely feels very moisturizing. Um, okay, so brush number one is the angled blush brush. And it came with this little thing on it, and I'm going to keep it on there because I like to try to keep my makeup brushes as clean as possible, especially when I throw them all in together. And this is just the angled blush brush. Um, I think this is going to go great um, for concealing, or not concealing, for blush and for bronzer, um, just to kind of contour a little bit. I think it's going to be great. And it's so, so smooth and soft and just... I'm excited about this. I need another one because my blush brush I own is has just gotten too hard and has been shedding, and I'm just tired of it. The next one I got was the e.l.f. Complexion Brush, and again, super duper soft. Um, I have a Kabuki by Tarte, which I use with my Tarte foundation, um, but I wanted something that I could use just with like a mineral um, powder, so super excited about these two. The last brush I got was a mistake um, that I accidentally ordered because I wanted a like a concealer kind of brush and I thought that this one was bigger. This is the e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush, but it is tiny. But I will say that like when I put the um, e.l.f. concealer on and just kind of like worked it into my hand just to see how it just worked, it did work. Um, I already started to build my shopping cart back up on e.l.f. and I put another one in there um, because I want to have another one so that I can use it for smudging because I think it'll be great because it's not flat tipped like an eyeliner kind of uh, pencil um, or brush but it is, I think it's going to go great just to kind of smudge along but I don't want to use, I don't, I want to have two of them. All right, so the first set I have is the set that I was most excited. Mm, yeah, we'll say most excited. Um, kind of a tiebreaker between this and the next one, but um, they were three very Eastery colors: a purple, like a mint, and then just kind of like a mm, kind of like a magenta. And it's lilac, and then mint cream, and this one is punk purple. Um. I was kind of disappointed in the lilac because online it was showing a very lavendery, very light purple. It is definitely not light. I mean, this is my nail. Eh, excuse the mess, that's my nail. I literally did these like 10 minutes ago, just in a hurry. Um, it's, I, the formula is awesome. I just, I was very, I, I wanted a light purple. I wanted a lavender-y purple, so I was kind of sad. This one I am, this set I am also excited about, and this set is a very, um, just a natural, let's see how much noise I can make with these. Um, very natural colors. Um, We've got nude, and we've got innocent, and then we've got my favorite, and that's the smoky brown. And I love neutral colors. Um, I've only got one nail polish that is a neutral color, um, so I am super stoked to start using those. Um, the last set of nail polish I got from e.l.f was a summer collection. I think it was like bright something. I don't know. They're cute. Um, I only had an issue with one of the nail polishes. Um, so we've got yellow and then we've got party peach and we've got teal blue. So when you look at this one online, this teal blue color, it looks like a teal blue, like almost like a Tiffany's blue color. Very pretty. This is definitely green. I don't know if that's going to show up. I was very disappointed with these two. I wanted them to be lighter than they were. Um, but all in all, I'm really happy with everything. Again, Elf is such a great company to order from. Um, they usually have a sale going on every single week. Um, the sun's starting to go down. Um, 
But I hope that you guys enjoy, and please, I, I'll leave um, all stuff in the doobly-doo, and you guys can look at it. Um, I will probably be doing a review, a written review on my blog um, at some point, so follow me on there, follow on Twitter, um, on Instagram. Um, I will hopefully start doing full looks with these, so it'll be fun. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys want to go out and buy these products because they're awesome. So have a great day.